Hello everyone, this is Mike from Michael Hallam Digio CGI. Uh, I'm going to do another tutorial. This is the third in the series of the short and sweet tutorials. Uh, and this one's going to be Advanced Animation Extending a Mixamo Walk Cycle in DAS 3D. As you might be aware, it's not easy to extend a walk cycle once you've got it back into DAS. Uh, Mixamo walk animation cycles normally come with about four steps and if you try to extend it to eight steps or 16 steps or infinite then the character will keep jumping back to the world center after every four steps so hopefully you will have well you won't be able to do this tutorial unless you've done the first two tutorials uh, Daz to Miximo to Daz for Genesis 3 and Genesis 8 characters and also the stop feet sliding tutorial so you will have had to have done both the tutorials and then go on to this tutorial to extend the walk cycle and not only walk cycles you can do a stop walk uh, sorry start walking then a walk cycle and then a stop walking or other uh, animations that you've taken for Miximo some of them you can put together and some of them you can't, but this will help you uh, not only with Mixamo animations, but the uh, anti-blocks. Sometimes the anti-blocks don't work correctly when extending them. Uh, well, this will be, uh, you can, you'll be able to use this method with anti-blocks as well. In the description below, links to my first two tutorials, Daz to Mixamo to Daz, and how to stop feet sliding, and also my new film, Alita and the Dragonfly Quest Episode 1. Let me just close this off and shut that down. So my latest film was Alita and the Dragonfly Quest Episode 1. That was uh, about, only about a quarter of the film. So I'll just play you a little bit of the robot walk cycle that was about 20 steps and it was made with a Mixamo animation a walk cycle which was only four steps so I extended it so you'll see here let me just drag this out now to where that bit is here we go so here we go the robot here you see a walking normally that would have only been four steps but I've extended it to about 20 steps seamlessly and there's no feet sliding it looks pretty good okay let's get out of that stop that so that's what we'll be doing so we're going to open up a character let's go with anybody let's have a look who we can have uh, let's go with Zoe love Zoe She's a Genesis 8 female. Okay, so we've got Zoe loaded in the scene and I've put some clothes on her. Uh, and now what we need to do is, so if we right click on Zoe and select all children. Now all the children are selected. Now if you'd have done the stop feet sliding tutorial, you'll understand this, but I have to go through it anyway. So, and then we go to edit, figure, Inverse kinematics, let's disable the enable IK, so disable it. You'll have to click it twice because the first time you click it, I found it won't it won't disable it. So see, it's still enabled. So click it the second time and that will have it, uh, disabled it. And then I figure again. And inverse kinematics, enable pin, so disable the pins as well. And then edit figure. And now lock unlock selected nodes edit figure the last one limits limits off rotation and this one will just take a few seconds to work out what it's doing okay so now what we want to do is let's have a look here oh i've just selected it and it doesn't matter it should be fine so yeah click zo again and now I've already brought uh, some walk animations from Mixamo into Daz. Uh, uh, I've I've got saved them, so let's open one up. We're just gonna so there's the stop walking. Uh, sorry, start walk, stop walk, swagger walk. We'll use. So let's put that down again. So with Zo selected, click on File, Merge. This is part of the first tutorial, and double click swagger walk. Now it's always going to come up with 
animated range total frames just click yes to that that's fine so that's going to think and now we have to go into if you remember because it's a Genesis 8 character so our arms have gone all funny so we have to go into parameters pose controls gf g3f pose and slide it all the way to the right and now if we let's just uh, I'm in front view that's why perspective view let's zoom out a bit let's move her over here so now you see if I play the timeline she'll just move four steps one two three four and that's it and back to the beginning to world center again is back over here so now let's click so again enable and let's stop that bring it back to the beginning of the animation now what we're going to have to do is bring this up here and open this up as well don't need it open so much now if we were to let's make this it's only 85 total frames so let's make it 200 for now 200 click enter with 30 frames a second so now if we go all the way to the last frame at 80, 1, 2, 3, 84 on the last frame not before it and not after it let's zoom out on this now on the last frame let's go back to file merge and the same swagger walk double click it now it's thinking so it's added again so now what you see is she's gone back to world center so what happens is she'll start walking and when she gets to there she'll zoom back to the world center again so how do you stop that so you could do it again you could put it on the last frame there and you could add another one let's just add another one just to show you so at that frame the very last frame she's on let's file and merge swagger walk again double click it click yes there you go so now we've got quite a lot of frames here uh, i just want to extend it to 300 for now 300 just so we've got some room to play with so I need a little bit of room to play with here. So right back at the beginning. So she'll jump back to world center there and then she'll jump back to world center again there. So the first time she jumps back to world center is 84, I think. There. Okay. So what we need to do, we've got this open. Need to click on Zo and then properties and then trans general transforms translation and then Z translate. And now you'll see where the problem is. You right scroll your wheel. One, two, these are your two problem areas. So what we need to do is drag a square around these, carefully not to get this point here. And now let's minimize this down a bit. And let's slide the other one in. So you can see what's going on and this is your problem so now we've selected all these keyframes so we just have to left click on the first one and drag it up and that's dragging all of the keyframes up to about somewhere like that and now what you'll find is normally she would have jumped back to world center but now she stays in exactly the same place where she's supposed to be and she carries on the walk cycle. So now you can basically, if we zoom in on her feet, let's go into the left view actually, uh, left view, and frame in and zoom in. Let's go up a bit. So now we'll still, you'll see there's a tiny little bit of a, a foot slide backwards there. So if we put it back onto there, we haven't, we've still got all these selected. You make sure you keep them all selected. And then so she slid back, so she needs to go forward a bit. So we slide it up. That's too much. There maybe. So now, that's still, it slides back now. So I need to come back. So if I zoom that and then bring this down. Uh, let's scroll in a bit more. Might make it easier for us. We need to come down or up, down, I think. I can't 
can't remember where I'm supposed to be now. Uh, she's sliding back a tiny little bit, but you wouldn't notice it, but you can get it spot on. So now that foot's going to stay in exactly the right place. So now if we scroll zoom this out, the next problem area is here. So if we put our mouse over here and scroll the mouse wheel and then bring this in to there, this one to there. Oh no, hang on, let's zoom this all the way out because uh, now left click we only want to select these last ones. So now we've got those selected. Now we can bring this back over here again. Bring this in, just need to see what we're doing properly. So now let's uh, zoom in on our character again. Bring her up. So the problem is now she's going to zoom straight back down to world centre. So keeping this here, let's left click and drag it up and it should bring it into view. There she is. So now, so she's sliding, from there she's sliding back. So she wants to come forward there. There you go. Pretty good. You can get it better than that. It's just you, I might have the snaps on a little bit too big, but that's that's perfect. So, or not perfect. It's probably about ninety-eight percent good. So let's zoom in on the whole character. Let's go to perspective and zoom in on her again. And now let's bring these all the way out there, all the way there. Let's deselect everything. See so now. So now, with different animations, you could go into Z translate, Y translate, X translate, and see where there's any anomalies that are not correct. And then you can adjust them uh, again with the uh, rotation as well. You can go into our X, Y, and Z rotate to see if there's anything that's not right. If you've got any little jumps or hiccups in your animations, this is how you fix it. So now if we go back to the beginning and play the animation, you'll see her right back there. Let's make sure that she's going to stay in frame on the last frame. Let's have a look. That's back to the beginning. Let's close that down. Bring this back down. And if we play the animation now, oh, let's, so you can see what's happening. There shouldn't be any hiccups. There you go. There's only a couple of little things where a foot slides back a tiny little bit, but you can fix that. That's just playing with those, what I showed you. That is how you extend the Mixamo walk animation and uh, inside does from Mixamo. And that you can do that with all different kinds of animations, as I've said before. So well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, any questions, please leave a... Uh, a like, subscribe and, and comment if you have any questions and please check out my new film Alita and the Dragonfly Quest see, uh, episode one. Uh, I'm only up to episode one, I've still got two, three and four to do so I've got an awful long way to go because the first episode took about, gosh, seven, eight months to make that, that uh, seven minute piece of film. So I'll be starting work on episode two very shortly. And if there's anything else that you'd like me to, to uh, do a, a tutorial on, please let me know. Thank you very much.